Hello and welcome all of my beautiful, vibrant hearts and ephemeral souls who are Taurus suns, have big Taurus placements, or crotch with cro <laughs> cross watchers. <laughs> cross watchers for Taurus. You know, I'm gonna leave it in. That's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> welcome to your month ahead messages. <laughs> Who's gonna look at the month? <laughs> July 2024. All right, hang on. I'm a, I'm a grown woman. I can do this. <clears throat> this is going to look at the month of July 2024. Um, if you're looking for love messages, <coughs> <coughs> I've started a new tier on my Patreon that is meant to look at that exact thing. That is linked down below. Um, so not only does that give you access to all of the Zodiac month ahead love energies, but it also um, gives you access to, I do at least one, but I'm doing a couple um like random pairing readings. So I'll just roll the astrology dice and then whichever two come out, um, it is a reading to look at a connection between those two signs. So for example, last month it was Gemini and Cancer, um, which I thought was funny. But yeah, so um, you guys, I'll never recover from that. I'll be talking to my friend later. I'll be like, girl, guess what I said? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep it. That's hilarious. Um, <clears throat> so if you're interested in that, link for that is down below. I am available for our personals, so if you're interested, um, if you like what we're talking about today, or you just want more details for your own personal month ahead, um, or really any other question, with rare exception, um, the link to book is through my website, and that is down below as well. All right, now that I've absolutely lost my shiz for a minute, let me <laughs> let me regroup and be a mature adult. So, I hope you guys had a wonderful June. I hope it blessed you abundantly. I hope you have many things to celebrate in many areas of life. Um, I feel like you guys had a good, there's like, um, uh, I feel like, yeah, there's a calm energy here. I feel like you guys may have had a really good month or it's just like nice. It's just nice. I want to look at these two cards, but not take them soul time. <clears throat> some of you guys may have had some nice time to kind of like balance yourselves out. Yeah. Ground chakra, a lot of spiritual time. Um, so I don't know if and divine feminine, I feel like maybe June was a time where you were guys were at rest a little bit, or you had like some pockets to kind of rest a little. Maybe you guys got something done that you were feeling really, really good about. Um, there's just like a really nice nice vibe here so i'm actually gonna pull your tarot before i flip your oracle card because i want to i want to look at what we got here yeah it's this one come here you there we go yeah at the bottom is the fool it feels like you guys are ready for a new venture ready for a new journey yep ace of wands <clears throat> for some of you this is a new creative project um, in this version of the fool she's holding a phone so some of you guys could get important communication you could be having a new venture online but this just feels like something where you guys have you know you've taken some time you've rested up um i'm just taking a sip of my water taken some time rested up um recuperated gotten your ducks in a row and it feels like you're ready to launch into this next phase authority ooh, ooh. um card 10 that indicates the end of a cycle uh and it always reduces to a one which indicates a new beginning the frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful directed and realized yet receptive wise and loving <clears throat> you guys are in a beautiful balance so this month um some of you guys may have been balancing your divine feminine energy um in june some of you guys that will continue on a little bit into july but your main energy for the month of July is this personal power. As you end the personal power to end one cycle, um, it feels like to flow with an ending or again, an ending occurred and then you took some time to rebalance yourself. Some of you guys took parts of June and maybe taken parts of July to kind of make decisions, like I said, get your ducks in a row um, in order to make the best and most empowering decision for yourself. This feels like a, sometimes when this card comes out, just depending on other cards, I'm like, Ooh, okay, you're taking back your power. You're making like a tough call, but it's a good one. This feels like this is very calm. This is very receptive. This is very um, open to what spirit has to bring you. The fool is somebody who has no baggage, right? Very little baggage. They really processed everything. Um, they move forward with a spring in their step with levity um and there's a trust in the universe so the work that you guys have been doing to kind of rebalance yourselves um and find stability emotionally as well as kind of heal and release is really paying off because this month it feels like your main energy is that you have um the sense of power while also being co-creative with the universe sorry i was like what is that sound um <clears throat> which i think is really beautiful so yeah, you have the Ace of Swords. So two Aces have popped out so far. I love that. We love that for you. 
The tower. Ooh, okay. This actually feels very positive here, though. The queen of pentacles. There you are. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the nine of cups. This is beautiful. Oh, my God. Can I be a Taurus this month? Because I want this. Um, so this is really lovely. A lot of you guys, it's interesting. We talked about the 10 also reducing to a one. And then, boom, here's an ace. Um, a lot of you guys, you know, with that ace of wands we saw popping out earlier, you've been feeling inspired to maybe make some changes, go in a new direction, even if you're not sure exactly what that is, bam, you're getting the clarity you need. Some of you guys are getting communication. We saw that with the image of the phone in her hand and the fool card. You're getting um, communication. You're getting insight, maybe seeing information online that's going to help redirect you. Um, some of you are getting an email that you got the job. That's very specific, but getting an email that you got the job. Some of you, you see how in this version of the Nine of Cups, they're all trophies. Some of you, um, you're getting an award or an accomplishment this month. You're getting something that makes you feel accomplished. But I'm seeing that you're having clarity, you're having communication, you're having breakthrough um, about what direction to go in or possibly presenting an offer. It feels like there's an exchange as well, because something I'm noticing is it's the hand is offering the ace like toward this direction and the queen is offering her pentacle. So for some of you, this could really be a job um, because the, the tower is in the middle. Some of you, you are getting the opportunity to move. Some of you, you're gonna be signing a lease, right? Again, there's like um, the document is being offered and the money is being offered in exchange. Um, like I said, some of you are getting a new job, possibly signing a new contract. Um, as always, you know, look over things with a discerning eye, but I feel like you guys are in a very, very good place with this. Some of you, you are um, signing new paperwork when it comes to how to invest your money. Some of you are taking a trip. You're finally, um, so like what I'm seeing is this image of you're doing well financially, you have stability, maybe you're hitting a savings goal or milestone, and now you finally get to book the trip. And it feels like what I'm seeing with the image of the, uh, Come on, Vanessa. <laughs> the image of, back up, Vanessa. Um, with the image of the phone in her hand on the full card, you might be, um, it's like almost like you get this, you hit this goal, this milestone, you're feeling good about your money. And then you get, um, you know, like an email, <clears throat> a notification. You see something on social media about um, a trip that you've always wanted to take and you just book it, right? There's something with the tower and the fool that's very unexpected, sharp left turn. So some of you guys, <clears throat> you're just kind of like, all right, yeah, let's go for it. And with the Nine of Cups, this is something that you have been wanting or something you do want. Again, whether it's something you impulsively go for or it's something you've been planning for a while and now you finally get to do it. Um, you guys have reached, like I said, a milestone with the Nine of Cups where you feel like you're in a good place. You feel like, like, let's even say you hit a savings goal, so financially you're happy with, but this may have been something where it's like, cool, I did it. You know, I did a no-spend challenge or it was really my goal to... Um, save up this much in my vacation fund and I, I had a lot of discipline and I did it, right? Um, it's making me think of that phrase, discipline now or regret later. A lot of you guys might be celebrating um, a period of hard work as you're coming into a period of harvest. Um, it's kind of like you've done a lot of work and now you get to decide, like I said, it's a period of harvest and you get to decide what to do with it. I feel a lot of you guys are coming into this with an air of discernment with this Ace of Swords, <clears throat> um, as well as being very in touch with what you want. <clears throat> excuse me so there's like this beautiful this beautiful kind of tempering of you know this wisdom this discernment um to kind of balance out this like you're not being impulsive about it is what i'm trying to say long-windedly and circuitously and a lot of you guys are looking at these decisions um and about to make like a really important move um that is based off of your long term right so like let's say again this is you finally saved up enough for that vacation, you're finally getting to take that vacation and it's something you've been working on for a long time. Some of you are moving to a better location and it's something that's going to pay dividends in the long run. Some of you are, you're um, getting a higher paying job, you're getting um, a more um, desirous title um, and it's something you've been working toward for a while as well as something that will set you up for the future. So this is really beautiful. This is what I'm seeing for your month ahead. I, I am, I'm so proud of you. You don't need my validation, but I am proud of you, you did a good job. Um, so you'll have to let me know how this pans out for you or what this goal is, because I'm, I'm always curious what you guys are up to. Um, this is really lovely. Uh, and yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else I could possibly add. Um, so like I said, if you're interested in love messages, those are down below. If you'd like to book a personal with me, the link to do so is down below. I'm wishing you guys a safe, happy, healthy month ahead. Um, take care, okay? Okay, bye.